guys, ready for another weekly installment of, you know, what happens in my household. So I'm going to start calling it Sharing Sunday because that's when I'm going to try to release it on my Sunday, um, late my Sunday, and then you guys should see it early your Sunday. So it should pretty much work out right on fleek. Um, uh, so I've got Denver here today with me. I try to spend as much time as I can with him before he goes home because he's only here for a short time, but I do love him oh so much. Um, <laughs> I try not to talk to Paula so I don't have to give him back. I guess I'm hogging a little bit. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's see what I did this way. It's a lovely Tuesday afternoon here in Ipswich, Queensland, and Michael... Mm -hmm. has roped me into coming for a drive and we're going for a drive because remember on the weekend Michael bought that cabinet and had a broken mirror in the back so as you know we are very good on buying things cheap Michael bought a cheap mirror and so now we're going to get it resized so we can fit it in the back of the cabinet um, and hope they don't break it when they cut it I hope they don't break it What's in your cabinet, Michael? What do you have in your, that special cabinet? This... I have nothing in my new cabinet. It's fully empty. It needs well, to be fixed. What's in your old cabinet that you want to put in the new cabinet? There's some old cameras. In it. Ah. Well, if you make friends with all these nice people that'll watch this video, maybe someone will have a special camera for you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think I have enough already? <laughs> he has a lot. How many cameras would you say you have? Oh, probably about 200. 200 cameras that's a lot of cameras you never take pictures of me no they're all film cameras so mind you guys most of them are broken well not necessarily broken but they're just all old cameras what 70s 80s cameras yeah the whole old metal ones that are heavy and look like they're made properly and stuff yeah not going last. back as far as the box brownie or anything like that but you know the nice steel sort of yeah film film cameras not digital yeah, film cameras and michael you know we normally go to garage sales and that and michael will pick up them you know really cheap we don't spend much maybe five or ten dollars maybe up to 50 if it's something really spectacular um he's really after a leica you'd love a leica hey yeah, it'd be like, very like, I'd li it's I'd like that. It's likeable. It'd, li it'd be likeable, a likeable liker. Yeah. So, you know, if anyone's got any old cameras lying around and they want to send them to Australia to appear in Michael's special cabinet, which I will show when once he fix it, fixes it up. Oh, it feels like you're speeding. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I feel like I'm going to a racetrack here. Um, there's a river down there. Um, anyway, um, yeah, you might want to send them to Michael's cabinet and they can sit in there. They don't have to work. And, you know, even if they're a little bit dirty or dusty, sometimes he sits there and cleans them up with, you know, all the special cleaner. and Mr. Sheen. Mr. Sheen. And makes them appear really nice again, like brand new. And, and it's really um, very museum-ish looking at the cameras they're very interesting to look at but yeah I thought maybe I should put that out there because a lot of people just have them lying around in old boxes and they really don't care about them but yeah he likes to show them so yeah we're gonna go do that now sorry there's a car show in the back there um, but this is Michael's camera cabinet at the moment so there's lots of different cameras in there this is the kind of thing he likes uh, there's a bit of everything in there. Olympus, Fuji, Canon, Nikon, Polaroid, Minolta, Konica. So as you can see, that's sort of what he likes and that's how many cameras he's got. Ah! And we've got a pile up happening there. Can't see him. But this is his new cabinet. Hello. But he's actually fixed that. That was the mirror that he fixed in the back you know the other day and it goes down here and he's just got to put the shelves in and um once that happens it won't be this week probably and we move it around he's even got all camera books that state about you know cameras this is my little shelf up here i love human beans anyone's got human beans i absolutely love them and then we've just got some strawberry shortcaking care bear vintage stuff so that's pretty cool 
See you on the flip side. So every afternoon, late in the afternoon, probably around mm, between four and five, just depending on how busy I am, I come upstairs and it is shower time. And um, Tiana, what? So what I do is I, you know, go into my bedroom at this time of the afternoon and I literally just go and have a nice hot, hot, hot shower. Some of you are probably thinking, oh my God, because it's summer where you guys are. So I have a hot shower and then afterwards I have a little bit of a relaxing moisturizer. Hmm. And my favorite part about having, after having a, a nice hot hot shower is to use these now I don't use them every day so this is kind of a little bit of a review but if you go on to just like eBay and type in um, eye mask or gold eye mask these will come up and they are so ridiculous you can get them you know really really cheap I think I ended up paying about the last time about 50 cents each for these and they're just so good so you just get them out whoops there's a bit of water in there or the moisturizer juice that they have in and this is what it looks like and you just like put it under your eye feels really lush makes you feel really lush so do that one and go with the next one which is always stuck in there because I haven't grabbed it properly the next one and under my eye like that and just pat it down now literally I'll just go and sit in bed and relax and have a look on my phone for like half an hour and hmm, I feel so luxurious highly recommended the cheapest um, form of body pampering you could ever have go for it I highly suggest it I buy them in lots of like 50 hmm. So Will and I just went to his um, appointment, which kind of stunk, but it was okay. It was okay. The guy's nice. So we got Michael some sushi, and we are going. Where are we going, Will? Where are we going? KFC. <laughs> KFC. Look, KFC, KFC. See, we've ordered. We're going to go inside and get our meal. I wonder what Will's got. Get my drink. Don't forget my drink. Um, Thanks, Will. <laughs> Don't kill me. That's my food. What doing? What? Oh, you're used to this kind of stuff. No, what do you mean? Really embarrassing. Part of my week consists of doing um, the bookwork for my business and my husband's business. So sometimes it can be a bit crazy. But I'm really excited because here's my box, which is full of my business stuff and my husband's business stuff, and I'm almost finished um for the tax season so i'm up to date so i'm really grateful about also remember i'm going to have a bit of a motivational weekend this week i'm really getting into the motivation and i wanted to let everyone know that you are worth it you are great and all you have to do every day say over and over to yourself in your head i am worth it keep saying it keep believing it you are worth it you're a great support of me and i think you're definitely worth it Every each and every one of you, even if you think that I might not know you, I may not, but I'll still think about you as a supporter for watching this and still grateful for my ghost viewers, I call them. So thank you from me and Devon for this week. Keep watching. So today we're on a drive out to Esk. It's a little country town where my dad lives. Um, so we're on country roads at the moment. Um, Tiana is driving. She's driving her car, which is a manual, so it's a little bit daunting for you today, isn't it, Tiana? She won't talk to me because it is daunting. Um, we do have a semi-trailer up our bottom, um, which makes it ever more sort of daunting, but Tiana got this, and Will is 
fast asleep in the back of the car because he thinks sleep is better than thinking about what Tiana is doing right now. She's doing well. Um, so we've got some beautiful views ahead, but um, unfortunately we are blocked by a lot of fog today. So um, you probably won't really get to see the mountain ranges that I hope you might see. Um, oh yeah, would always see some in the coming in the distance there. It's really pretty countryside, completely untouched. Um, this is about an hour from my house. Um, long straight roads, no lights. We're doing 100k an hour. You'll have to convert that to miles if you want to know. I think it's about 60 mile an hour. Not completely sure. But yeah, so we're almost there and um, Tiana is doing a smashing job. Good on you, Tiana. So we're at my dad's now. Dad, this is my dad, Jeffrey. And um, what was I like as a kid? Rat bag. What? Rat bag? I was a good girl. Yeah, little dolly with the hole in the bucket. <laughs> I'll get you to sing that if you're not careful. <laughs> and this is my stepmom. This is Bromwyn. She's the best. What is dad really like? A rat bag like Runs in the family. I don't think that's. I don't think they're telling the truth. What about Tiana and Will? They're rat bags. Definitely runs in the family. <laughs> and they've got a cat too. And he's so cute. Tonto, don't run away from me. Tonto, Tonto, hello, hello, come here, you beautiful little boy. He's such a lovely cat. We really, really love him. And he's in the best home ever, aren't you? Hello. Hmm. So my dad thinks I'm a rat bag, hey? I probably was. No, I wasn't that bad. I was quite a good kid, actually. Um, but that was a little bit of fun. Um, he calls me a rat bag. Take a look at this image I got out of a newspaper from 1962 my auntie has given it to my dad and I took a picture of it while I was at my dad's Say hello to everyone. The kids are all here. Lockie's watching YouTube videos and Tiana's cooking Subway cookies. Will's, I wouldn't even want to read what was on his head. Please don't read I'm that. I'm hungry. No, and he's hungry. What for, Will? Because I'm hungry. Yeah, but what do you want to eat? Food. What kind of food? McDonald's. Uh, what a shock. Yes. <laughs> Mom, when are we going to get it, Mom? I'm actually hungry. Uh, you're always hungry. W, and I'm just looking at see what clothes they have at the moment. Just looking over here. Look at this. I have just seen. Can you grab that for me, Michael? I really need that. Leave it. Yep. That has to be for Matilda. <gasps> they haven't been pink. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. They have them in pink. Mm. 
Oh, I need that one too. So cute. Okay, what else? Mm. Shouldn't be getting stuff from Matilda because she's not even here. Mm, it's too plain. I need something for Mateo. Back Boys have nicer girl stuff than boys. Why is that? Not enough. No, I'm not I'm not very happy. Can't get Mateo anything special. Oh, over there they've got some nice stuff. I'll have a look at that. Mm -hmm. Um so it'll be in um <gasps> They got dinosaur pants. Probably way too big. Discounted stuff is always good too, Michael. Yeah, the one with that bat on it. It's not a bat. Oh. It's a rabbit. It's down here. There's a fox. What does the fox say? No, I'm not, not impressed there. <clears throat> oh, I want that one. Yes. Too big. No, it's a new baby. Big. How much is it? <clears throat> Show me how much it is. I only got one hand, Michael. Fifteen. I love this too. I always wanted him to have a tux. But it no, is, does look a little big. With a $5 rate, mm. Mm. Too big. Gotta look over here. <gasps> Might see something. Penguin. That's cute. Mateo, keep it down. Keep it down, Mateo. Hmm. That's all Bond's clothes. I'm not really a fan of those too much. <gasps> I see something. I see something, Michael. <gasps> look! Oh my god! Mickey. <gasps> oh, look at this one. That's cute. Oh, Cookie Monster. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <gasps> oh my god. I love... I love this one. Don't you love Hungry Caterpillar? Yeah, chill bark. I know. Why can't they ever be in like Mateo's size? This is what gets me. None in Mateo's size. They've got Thumper here. That is so cute. <gasps> Dumbo. Dumbo's so cute. <gasps> Bambi. Freak me out. Oh, and Aristocats. Hogwarts, oh my god. Are you kidding me? I thought Michael's probably thinking, oh my god, I've got to get out of here. I've got to. He needs to be my cameraman and help. <gasps> Beauty and the Beast, sorry, Leslie. It's just too big. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at that Bambi one. That's so pretty. Let's see if they've got a Beauty and the Beast for... Leslie's baby. They probably won't. <gasps> I just love that too. Oh, they're all too big. I'm so sorry, Leslie. <clears throat> I'm sorry, everyone, for making you have this feeling of wanting, but they're not here. Ah, that's so cute. Oh my god. Okay, I'm, I'm just about to die. Michael's over there thinking, oh my god, shut up, Annette. Just shut up. And I'm like, no, I can't shut up. I'm excited. That's only $10. That is cute. That's so Mateo. But I have to be strict on myself. I'm on a money budget at the moment. Sesame Street! <gasps> Mickey Mouse! Okay, all right, enough in it. Okay, so anyway, this is basically what they have at this part of the baby shop at Big W. Thanks, Michael. So of course I had to get something a big W, didn't I? So I got the two um, little outfits I was talking about for Matilda. The one in pink 
and the one in white I think they are perfect I love this beautiful little frill and you know you can't get one without the other can you so I did get um, Matteo this gorgeous little cookie monster outfit which I'll put on him later today I was really really excited about that it was a little bit of fun um, mucking around and, and hanging out with Michael at the shops even though he thinks I'm a little crazy but I'm not really but let's let him think that anyway Tiana, all you ever do is edit. Anyone got any requests for Tiana? She loves a good request. But this is all she does every day. Lots and lots of video edits. Don't forget to check out her channel. will be in my description if you want to follow her. So this week I wanted to do a shout out for some of my patron members. Hello everyone from Patreon. I'm so glad you, you follow me on a, a daily basis and it's so exciting when I get to interact with you, especially on my little mini clips I do throughout the day. But today we wanted to do a bit of a shout out. We're going to do a shout out for Paula Cash, um, who is his mum. She's been with me for ages and I just wanted to say hi, how are you? And thank you for always um, supporting supporting me. Also Tammy Nelson, she's been here since the beginning as well. Tammy, I wanted to say thank you to you as well for always supporting me. And we'll also give a big wave to Joanne Murphy. I hope you liked your last patron gift that you won in the super giveaway. So thanks everyone. If you want to join my patron, you're welcome to, to see what we get up to a little bit more in depth every week. Um, we're always sharing what we're doing. All you have to do is um, go to the link that I'll put in the description below and that will be really exciting. We can do that. Don't forget, if you're after uh, reborning supplies, I am the owner operator of Aussie Reborn Supplies and I'm always happy to look after anyone with any questions. But you can find my website link also in the description below. It's Aussie Reborn Supplies, which is www.aussiereborn-supplies.com.au, And um, you can see plenty of reborning products there and might give you some inspiration for something you might need.